How to form the subjunctive? The subjunctive exists at four tenses, the present, the perfect, the imperfect, and the plus perfect. The last two tend to disappear nowadays, so do not worry too much about them. Let's start with the most common one, the present subjunctive. It corresponds to indicative tenses in English, or expressions such as may, might, would, to express the uncertainty. For instance, je suis heureuse qu'il vienne, I am happy that he is coming. To form the present subjunctive, take the third person plural form of the verb at the present indicative, delete the ENT ending and add E, ES, E, IONS, IEZ, ENT. In many cases, the singular persons and the third person plural are the same as the present indicative. The first and second persons plural are the same as the imperfect indicative. Here is an example with parler. The third person plural at the present indicative is parle, therefore the present subjunctive will be que je parle, que tu parles, qu'il, elle, on parle, que nous parlions, que vous parliez, qu'il, elle parle. There are many irregular verbs, for instance, avoir, que j'ai, que tu es, qu'il, elle, on est, que nous ayons, que vous ayez, qu'il, elles aient. Être, que je sois, que tu sois, qu'il, elle, on soit, que nous soyons, que vous soyez, qu'il, elle soit. You use the perfect subjunctive when the verb in the main clause is at the present and the action expressed by the subjunctive takes place before the action expressed by the main verb. It corresponds to the English simple past or plus perfect. For instance, Je suis heureuse qu'il ait parlé. I am happy that he spoke up. You form it like any compound tense with the auxiliary avoir or être at the present subjunctive and the past participle of the verb. The imperfect subjunctive is a literary or formal tense. It is used when the verb in the main clause is at a past tense. It corresponds to the English simple past or the best fitting past tense, or might, would, to express uncertainty. For instance, j'étais heureuse qu'il vint, I was happy that he came. In informal speeches, the imperfect subjunctive is replaced by the present subjunctive. To form the imperfect subjunctive, take the third person singular form of the verb at the past historic, without the final T for R, E and I, R verbs, and add SSE, SSES, circumflex accent T, SSIONS, SSIEZ, S S E N T. Let's conjugate parler at the imperfect subjunctive. The third person singular at the past historic is parla. Therefore, the imperfect subjunctive will be que je parlasse, que tu parlasse, qu'il, elle, on parla, que nous parlassions, que vous parlassiez, qu'il, elle parlasse. Avoir will be que j'eusse, que tu eusses, qu'il, elle, on eût, que nous eussions, que vous eussiez, qu'il, elle, eusse. Être will be, que je fusse, que tu fusses, qu'il, elle, on fût, que nous fussions, que vous fussiez, qu'il, elle, fussent. Finally, the plus perfect subjunctive is also a literary or formal tense. It is used when the verb in the main clause is at a past tense and the action expressed by the subjunctive takes place before the action expressed by the main verb. It corresponds to the English plus perfect or conditional perfect. For instance, J'étais heureuse qu'il eût parlé. I was happy that he had spoken up. In informal speeches, the plus perfect subjunctive is replaced by the perfect subjunctive. The plus perfect subjunctive is formed like any compound tense. Take the auxiliary avoir or être at the imperfect subjunctive followed by the past participle of the verb. You will find other examples in your textbook, pages 157 to 161. Bon travail!